Today we are going to talk about the uh, title model of a mental health recovery. And it's the, the series is a Phil Barker. And the presentation is Juliet and the uh, Willing Sun. And we're going to start it with the uh, um, interview with the Dr. Phil Barker. Hope you can watch. Ourselves included. Not, this is not just about people who are described as having some kind of illness or disability or handicap. It's really about everyone. We live in a state of flux. Our, our lives are constantly changing. We like to believe that certain things are fixed and stationary and stable, but really things are moving all the time. If we wait long enough, Slow, very slow motion camera work, we can see those changes occurring. So, recognizing that we are in a state of flux, we believe within the title model that uh, it is folly to try to control our lives. What we need to do is to work out how we navigate our way through all the storms and challenges that life presents to us. And so the title model is, is a, a process that we developed originally for people in psychiatric care, but has now been extended out to cover a range of other people with uh, what we would call problems in living. And the approach is focused on trying to help the person to, by telling their story of what they have experienced, and how it has affected them, and we can lead that story towards beginning to talk about what kind of help the person believes they might need to help them to begin to move on. And to, well, if we use the metaphor of a shipwreck, if someone has been hit by some traumatic events in their life, then that's like a shipwreck. And they have been blown off course. And maybe they think they'll never ever get back on course take up the voyage of the life again. So, so this is uh, the um, title uh, model. Uh, Dr. Phil um, give us some uh, um, illustration about it. And uh, the reason for creating this theory is uh, the need to help the patient in mental distress. It draws its core philosophy philosophical metaphor from chaos theory due to its unpredictable nature as it relates to human experiences and behaviors that can be unpredictable as well. And, and also uh, the main concept of the theory is to understand one's needs through collaborative working, developing uh, therapeutic relationships through active empowerment. And the six key philosophical assumptions it, it addressed in Baker's title model, and uh, we're also got, going to talk about it. And the uh, first is a belief in the virtue of curiosity. And second is recognition of the power of resourcefulness. And third is respect for the patient's wishes. Or acceptance of the paradox of a crisis as opportunity. By faith, acknowledging that our goals must belong to the individual patient. The sixth is the virtue of pursuing elegance. The simplest possible means should be sought. So in order for the nurse to uh, begin the process of engagement using the title model, and uh, the following needs to be accepted. Recovery is possible, change is inevitable. Ultimately, the patient knows what is best for him or her, and the patient possesses all the resources he or she needs to begin the recovery journey and the patient is the teacher, while the helpers are the pupils. And the helper needs to be creatively curious and to learn what needs to be done to help the person. 
and there are 10 commitments of the title model are uh, the values it expresses. And first, the value of the voice, patient story is important. Second, respect the language and allow the patient to use his or her own language. Third, develop genuine curiosity, show interest in the patient's story. And fourth, become the uh, apprentice, learn from the patient you are helping. Fifth, reveal personal wisdom. Know that a person is an expert in his or her own story. Six, and be transparent. Help ensure that the patient understands exactly what is being done. Seven, use the available toolkit. The patient's story contains valuable information. We, we need to know what works and what does not work. Eight, craft the step beyond. And between the nurse and the patient, we need to work together in order to construct an appreciation of what needs to be done now. And ninth, give the gift of time. And time is just like the midwife of change. And the key is using the time properly. 10, know that change is a constant. This is a common experience for all people. So we're going to talk about the nursing matter paradigm addressed in the title mode. And nursing, as the baker said, are involved in the process of working with the people, their environment, and their health, and their need for nursing. And the purpose of nursing is the provision of the necessary conditions for the promotion of growth and development. So nursing is to help others in distress, formulate plan of care, and let the patient tell their story without making any assumptions. So person and patient, uh, according Baker, are natural patient. Person is a natural philosopher, philosophers and, and meaning makers. That means you need to listen to them and then uh, they can tell you what's going on. And the second is a person are defined in relationship. So for example, like uh, someone's husband, a wife or friend, and uh, in relationship with a uh, nurse, also can um, a patient and nurse also can uh, like uh, how it would be fine. The theory emphasizes on respecting and listening to the person. So about the health, uh, according Baker, health means whole, and uh, also people have their own individual meanings of health and illness that we value and accept. Uh, so about the environment, according Baker, it's persons live in the social and the material world where their interaction with the environment includes other people, group and organizations. And the patient society and the support network has an effect on the patient's recovery. And so it's very important to have the patient like uh, read the support uh, network. So nurses need to keep the person and the environment safe and secure. So um, and the theory is useful for psychiatric nurses when building a relationship with their patient to guide nurse-patient interaction. Um, Dr. Phil's theory also enables the nurses to articulate their practice and provide an orientation to practice. So here is the case uh, for us to uh, apply the title mode. Um, and uh, the case is about uh, Mr. Lewis, and he's a 74-year-old male and has been having symptoms of depression for the past three months and has been diagnosed with the clinical depression. So the primary nurse began to explore his nurse with him through a holistic assessment, which represents Mr. Lewis' world of experience at this moment in time. 
The nurse asked, how did this begin? Mr. Louis said, it all started when I got retired and my wife passed away two years ago. My only son lived with his family far away from where I'm living and he sent them to visit me because he's still so busy. The nurse said, how does this affect you? Mr. Louis said, I felt lonely and not happy all the time. The nurse said, asked how you felt in the beginning. Mr. Louis said, I felt very sad for my wife's death and I felt hopeless. The nurse said, how things have changed over time. The patient said, it got worse when my only son left to visit me and he's the only son I have. The nurse asked, how the effect on your relationships? Mr. Louis said, I don't have any close friends I can share my life with. The nurse keep asking, how do you feel now? Mr. Louis said, well, I don't know what to expect. I don't know how I'm going to spend my life. Nurse keep asking, what do you think this means? Mr. Lee said, I don't know. Maybe it means I need help. As the nurse keep asking, who are important people to you? And uh, Mr. Lee said, my son is important to me. The nurse said, what are important things to you? Mr. Lee said, well, my dog, not like gardening. So, and the, uh, the nurse keep asking, go on and on. And then um, with this title model, nurse is joining with Mr. Lewis in exploring his difficulties from his perspective. As he describes his experience in his own words, and the nurse develops a supportive and fat and basic relationship. The nurse expects him to participate as fully as possible in constructing the kind of care he needs and establishing ownership of resolving the problem. 